What is nastier than people realize? Ice machines in restaurants. I read an article of a study of bowling alleys. Researchers found higher than expected amounts of fecal matter in the finger holes of the common balls. So there was an expectation and that got blown out of the water. Dementia, especially advanced dementia. It's not just quirky memory problems, your brain controls every bodily function. Filthy hobbits is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Thanks to drug company ads, most people think it's just about going to the bathroom a few times a day. There's never any mention of fissures, fistulas, fevers, extreme pain, extreme fatigue, depression, anemia, drug side effects, joint pain, painful and horrific surgeries, mouth sores, skin disorders, etc. Hotel TV remote controls. The kitchen sink and the area immediately surrounding it. When the badass riff comes back but slower. Luggage. It gets rolled throughout the world, often in gross airport bathrooms where floors are literally wet with pee, and then when people get to their destination, their first thing they do is toss it on the bed to unpack. Come to think of it, this also makes hotel comforters that never get washed even more disgusting. Soda fountains at any restaurant fast food or otherwise. Source traveled around the US repairing and replacing them. Will only ever get bottled water. Your keyboard. Seriously man, wash that thing. I can see the dirt from your window. Keyboards and phones. The lines that connect fountain drinks and kegs to the taps. Had a buddy whose job was to clean them and he said he will never order a fountain drink from any restaurant, even the few that keep up on the routine maintenance. Your belt. Think about it, it's basically the only piece of clothing you never wash. And you always have to touch it after you pooped and before you wash your hands. The top of a soda can. People buy them from a store and put it right onto their mouth without hesitation. OCD. It's not some goofy personality quirk. It's hell on earth. Shoes. They are filled with sweaty feet and go everywhere. Think about the gas station and airport bathrooms. The bathrooms you can feel the ick in. People. Touching money. Fingernails. Your dish sponge. Things you buy from a lot of these grocery stores and drug stores. As someone who's seen the dust bunnies, spent time in the stock rooms, and smelled the ammonia, trust me. Your watch strap mine is white and the notches for the buckle go all the way around and every week I have to clean out all the lint and build up to stop it going funky. Makes me shudder at the idea of other watch straps where it may not be as obvious. A doctor's necktie. If your doctor wears a necktie, it's been in the presence of every sick patient he's been in, and it never gets washed. Light switch covers. Your cell phone, wallet, and keys you handle every day but never clean. Restaurant menus. Most people don't think about how many people touch them and how often they are cleaned. Speaking as a teacher of four five-year-olds. Kids with colds who do not know how to blow their noses or cover their coughs and sneezes. Sometimes they just leave the snot on their faces, or wipe it on their clothes. They can produce a mind-boggling amount of snot. The awful gross things kids will willingly put in their mouths, and then share with others. I love them regardless. Everything. Literally everything. Sometimes I regret my degree in microbiology. Drinking one liter of soda every day. It will give you a hard time when you are older. Blowing out birthday candles. Who started that disaster? Walking with your outside shoes in the house. Don't know why people think this is some weird Asian tradition, or why it should even matter a good idea, is a good idea. I'm not Asian, have no Asian relatives, but I leave my outdoor shoes by the door and walk either barefoot or in slippers in my home, this way I'm not tracking all the bird dog human whatever shit and sundry parasites onto my carpet. Not washing their hands correctly. Furthermore not washing before and after sex. 
first trimester of pregnancy. No one prepared my wife for throwing up every day for two months now. Having to continue to work her job through all of this blows me away. You bathroom. Everything is covered in poop. Kids. Yes, I'm a mom. My cat doesn't make nearly as much of a mess. House flies. Flies vomit on food sources to break it down, then suck it up. So basically when a fly lands on your food and you ate it, you're also eating fly vomit. Vomit that likely has poo and rotting garbage in its contents. Getting it infected. Any wound. Anywhere. A staph infection almost killed me. Long ass fingernails. People's own fingers that they lick and chew on all day.